right, here we are, guys, for the restock here at Meyer. You can see what they have. They don't have much. I don't know if, I think we may have missed coming right after they restock because there's no basketball there. It looks like there's a spot for basketball. There's the new playoff uh, football there. And not much this week. So we'll see if we can get anything at the Walmart tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. You can see we are doing another retail hunt video. Just got back from checking the stock and we did find some things. Uh, I think we missed a little bit. Uh, they didn't have any playoff mega or playbook, excuse me, mega boxes. Those look like there's a spot on the shelf for those. No other football was restocked, so no Prism this week and no NBA Premier. Uh, or premium stock uh, hoops. So uh, that wasn't there on the shelves. Uh, no other basketball. I think the next basketball we'll probably be finding is going to be regular hoops from 2000, uh, 2021. But we are going to open up uh, the playbook uh, hanger boxes. Those were $12.99 at our Meyer. And then a mega box of the holiday, Tops Holiday 2020. So you can see what's in here. Um, we're also going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. It's going to be one of the ways you must uh, enter, or that one of the uh, requirements, I should say, for entering the giveaway is to subscribe. So why don't you just hit that now if you're planning to... Uh, do that anyways when you get to the giveaway portion of the video. All right, well, <clears throat> you get 30 cards in here, <clears throat> and typically if you don't know anything about Playbook, Playbook was at one time only a hobby um, uh, option, and then you got uh, actual booklet cards, which you still do in the actual hobby here. I don't think that's even possible. Let's see. We're looking for base, orange, rookie, orange, rookie signatures. So you can get um, autographs. Uh, next up, jerseys, zoning commission, zoning commission materials, captains, captain swatches, uh, blitz memorabilia. Uh, and on average, non-base cards are included approximately five in every pack. All right, so there you go. There's the odds on the back, or not the odds. I always used to say that for tops because tops has odds, but what you can get in these packs. So don't say anything thick. So it doesn't look like we have a relic here, but hey, maybe we got an autograph. I'm guessing the autographs are really tough to pull, but could prove me wrong. If you've opened up these, uh, you know, what do you think? How do you like the look of them? Actually, the look is pretty good. Um, I like the look. There's the front of the card. Um, and here's the back. You can see the card. I like the design. Pretty uh, simple, but has a good look to it. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, how many of these photos are just the same as others. It kind of looks very similar to a lot of the products, but maybe there's some different photos in here. All right, so we got a card that is flipped over or flipped around, upside down. Not really sure what that's about. Don't think that's anything special. They did come out with um, Playbook Football, I would say, a year or two ago. And that was the first time we ever saw it on the shelves. And, you know, it was all right, but nothing nothing that great. The You know, once again, Playbook is known for their booklet cards. All right, so there you have a David Montgomery zoning commission and a Dak Prescott captains and a Tyler Lockett blitz. And behind that, we have an orange uh, wide receiver, Peoples Jones. I, at least I think that's orange. I'm not sure. Red, orange, whatever. Um, <laughs> a Cam Akers, um, a blue, and a J.K. J.K. Osborne? Huh. All right. Uh, P. Ryan, um, James, and then back to looks like the standard cards. Or no, wait. These are the orange foil. Sorry. I just looked at the border and I was saying, what, what are these? Not familiar with the set, obviously. First time opening it. Uh, so I'm learning just as you 
are watching. Um, Kyle Vinoy, and then we have a Cam Akers. So that's a nice rookie. And then a purple. Uh, there's that Osborne, KJ Osborne. Don't know anything about him and P. Ryan. So that was the first hanger box. Let's open up the second one, and then we'll get into the baseball. So, you know, that wasn't that wasn't horrible. You didn't get anything too special out of it. I can't imagine that these cards have a big secondary market um, demand. But like all things in this hobby right now, to find any kind of retail is good. I mean, people will come in and just scoop this stuff off the shelves, put it on eBay for double the price, and hope for the best. And I mean, I don't know. That's just too bad that that's the way it is. Um, we left tons of this out there. We literally bought two of these, um, and that's it. Uh, we would have bought a Mega Box just to try, but they didn't have any in stock. So um, a friend of ours uh, took some pictures for us in another Meyer, and I'll try to have that up in the video as well if it's not already in the intro. Um, so take a look at that if I can get that uh, up. Uh, but that was what the actual full stock looked like. We did not hit it fully. We missed the mega boxes. So we'll go through the second pack a little faster. Um, but you can see uh, these who's in here. Uh, Julio Jones. Of course, it would be nice to hit a Herbert uh, rookie out of there. Um, saw the Lions right back there. And so here is a DeAndre Swift. I like the look of that insert. Next up. That's pretty cool. And then next up, Cole Komet and a zoning commission, Rashad Penny, and a Cortland Sutton. Here's one of the Blitz cards. So, oops, I think I maybe just gave away a code there. Um, <laughs> this is, must be some kind of a gaming card. Um, don't know much about that. DJ Dallas, and then Ayuk, and a McFarlane Yellow. Not numbered. Um, and then a Cleveland. Sorry, it's hard for me to read these names with that foil. And then Brandon Cooks orange, Christian McCaffrey orange, Le'Veon Bell orange, and then the blue, uh, the purple border with the orange lettering, Dev Devin Duvernay, and a Jeremy Chin, uh, light blue with the orange foil on the bottom. All right, so that was box number two, hanger box number two. Let's open up something that I'm much more familiar with. This would be Topps Holiday. So very fun product, Topps Holiday. These mega boxes at Walmart, I think, are $19.99 or they're $21.99. I can't remember. And then at Meyer, they're $24.99. Meyer always has a little higher prices on their cards. And if you're not familiar with Meyer. If I can get this thing open. Meyer is a regional chain in the Midwest. And uh, one of the things we're going to be giving away is an exclusive at Meyer. So let's see what we get here. You get the little ornament card in here. Nolan Arenado is our ornament card. And then you get all your packs, which we'll take out right here. So, and there's one still stuck in the bottom. All right. So you get, um, was it 10 packs in a box? 10 packs, 10 cards per pack. And then here are your odds. And of course you get the um, snowflake, metallic snowflakes in here. And then you usually get two short prints per box in either one um, relic or one autograph per box. So we've not hit uh, any autos out of the stuff this year. Um, looks like we might have, yep, yeah, looks like we have our relic in the first one here. Sam Hilliard, um, Christian Yelich, and Travis Dimitri, Michael Conforto, and I think the next one is our relic. Relic is Clint Frazier. I like the look of the relics. They're pretty cool. And then Arangel, <laughs> Polanco, and Charlie Blackman. All right, so pack number one out of 10, we got our relic. And I don't believe there's any metallic snowflakes. The metallic snowflakes are kind of hard to tell. They, they don't really shine too much this year. Kind of got to feel the card to see if it is a metallic snowflake. Usually they're like four or five cards down. I think they're kind of right in the middle. Um, so 
And there's one right there, a Nico Horner. Rookie Metallic Snowflake. And those will go for a little bit more on the secondary market. Nothing too crazy. One thing you do have to be careful about when you're opening these, uh, the short prints are not all flipped over. So make sure you take a good look at your uh, box because they're not all flipped over. Some of them are, but they're not every one. And it, generally speaking, you get, here's one right here, a Juan Soto. You get two uh, per mega box. Let's see what this one is. Okay, so it's the candy cane. Um, one, which is pretty cool. And the code on this one is going to be uh, 2471, which means it's the uh, regular SP. Um, and then you can see the code on the regular card. But they have a regular short print and then a rare short print. And then I think it's called a super rare short print. So this was just the um, regular short print, but still pretty cool. One of the better names, obviously. Uh, Juan Soto's cards have taken off. I believe his base rookie card now from update is like 70 to 80 bucks raw, which is pretty crazy. I think last year we were buying his rookie cards for 20, 30 bucks at the beginning of the year. Uh, we stocked up on quite a few of them raw. We have a couple graded as well, but obviously big believers in uh, him. He's definitely has a lot of uh, potential. So, We'll see if he lives up to that potential this year. I can't wait for baseball to get started. Um, definitely having fun watching NBA and watching NFL playoffs, but I always look forward to the start of baseball, even though it is a couple months away at least. Um, baseball is obviously not the most popular sport anymore in America. So there's a Brendan McKay. At one time it was... Uh, no longer. Uh, it's number three, uh, and I think it's losing ground. Hopefully, with these young stars in there, it will, um, you know, really catch on. So, Starlin Castro. Let's see. That is not a short print, so I don't see anything in here. I'm gonna put this pack aside and look at it at the end because it may have had a short print in it. There's nothing special. I didn't see a metallic card. I may have missed something. But for the sake of brevity of the video, there's a nice Kyle Lewis rookie. Um, won't spend too much time trying to look for something rare that's not there. Um, there's a Zuna, and here's a metallic snowflake of Anthony Rizzo. Josh Donaldson and Patrick Corbin. All right, so that nice Kyle Lewis. Um, we'll be putting together sets of these. So we got a few boxes that we've opened. We'll try to put a set together for ourselves and then put a couple sets up on our eBay store. So um, we'll be doing that soon. There's a link to our eBay store uh, in the description below. And here, I don't know. I don't think that is a metallic snowflake. I was going to say, that, is that a metallic snowflake? I don't think so. Shohei Otani. Um, whoa, he's got mittens on. Okay, so there's our second short print. Um, let's see. That is number 72. So that is a, um, uh, what do they call it? Rare, super rare, rare. I think this is the rare. The other one, I think I maybe said it was rare. <laughs> I think the other one is just a regular short print, and then it's rare, and then super rare. So um, look at the checklist. Double check me uh, because sometimes my old memory does not serve me well. Uh, but there are three levels, so 71, 72, and 73. Um, so that is pretty cool. But that one was not flipped over, so you got to watch real closely when you're opening these. Um, and hopefully you can find some. I know Blowout has them on their website. I saw just the other day for, oh, there's a metallic snowflake right there, of Zach Granke. They have them for like $34, and I'm not sure what they're selling on eBay for. Um, we obviously don't buy them to flip them. We buy them to open. Um, and we will save one or two because we have a lot of sealed wax that we save. So, you know, some people accuse us of being flippers and taking all stock, not leaving any on the shelves for the kids. But if you were to go to the store right after we were there today, you would see we left plenty of stuff on the shelves. Um, but I understand there's a lot of frustration around retail 
Um, and there are a lot of flippers, people buying up tons of stuff. In fact, the guy that was checking out behind us in line had a cart full of uh, Pokemon. There wasn't any of the Hidden Fates um, boxes, but there was some other Pokemon, and this guy obviously wanted a bunch of it. So I don't think we pulled anything here. I didn't see any Rosarinas in here or... Uh, Luis Roberts. Those are actually kind of tough to... Oh, there's a Metallic Snowflake. Oh, that's what I missed. Metallic Snowflake. All right. So there you have it, guys. A holiday box. We got our two short prints, um, that Otani um, and uh, the Juan Soto. And then we had the um, Relic card of Clinton Frazier. So um, my piles are all messed up as usual. But, hey, that's the way I like to break. All right, so here we go. Uh, Juan Soto, there's the other short print. Um, and, yes, we do sleeve up these cards immediately after the video to make sure they are well protected. So don't worry about that. All right, so here's our giveaway. Um, all you have to do is leave a comment below letting us know what you're most looking forward to to open in 2021. And here we have two of these blister packs of 2020 update. These are exclusive to Meyer. You get um, a purple parallel card inside each pack. Um, and they're kind of behind there. You can kind of see the cards. Um, and then we're also going to give away, do one more giveaway here, a 2021 uh, Panini Contenders blaster box. So... Uh, all you have to do, or excuse me, 2020, not 2021. All you have to do is enter below. Tell us what product you're looking forward to opening most in 2021. Um, and also, you have to be a subscriber and hit that thumbs up button. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll be doing that giveaway next week sometime. Uh, take care. Have fun collecting. Once again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And to enter that uh, contest, all you have to do is... You know, tell us what product you're looking forward to opening up in 2021 and like and comment and subscribe uh, to enter that contest. Also, thanks so much for watching. Thanks again to everybody uh, who supports the channel. This is just a, another way to give back to you guys uh, for all your support. We greatly appreciate it. All right, take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next break.